Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Nerd News from IGN by Taylor Lyles. Epic Game Store launches officially on mobile devices. Worldwide launch on Android, while only EU iPhone users can access it. We already knew that Epic Games plans to release the digital storefront on mobile devices via iOS, App Store, and Android. Clearly, this year, months after the initial announcement, the prolific game company, blah, 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 whatever. They're doing it. Um, the mobile, they stated earlier this year that the mobile version of Epic Games Store digital storefront is uh, whatever, expanding reach into Android along with whatever. They're bringing the shit to mobile. Um, I want to be very clear. I do not like but I dislike Google and Apple more. So before I get into why this is good, I need to get into why Epic sucks, just to be perfectly clear. Epic re was trying to usurp Steam, calling them calling it a monopoly, all like Steam bad, Steam bad, Steam bad. And make no mistake, Steam owns the PC market. But Steam doesn't own the PC market because they... Steam doesn't own the PC market because they, you know, did, like, bought out exclusivity for the Steam platform. You know, there was cases where things like Elder, the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim was on Steam because Bethesda chose to do it there, but Steam didn't pay them to do that. The problem is, is that Epic, the Epic Game Store was talking about all of these important things and why it's important. Like, Tim Sweeney was talking about all these important things, why it's important for Epic to end on competition and all that. The problem is, is that all of his behavior was not pro-consumer. It was just showing, like, he just wanted to replace Steam. He didn't want to have a better market for, you know, gamers and have a better ecosystem and better prices and stuff. He just wanted... To replace Gabe Newell. Like, it, which, if you want to replace Gabe Newell, fine, make a better product than Valve. You know, Valve got to where they are based off of, off, based off of, like, being good at what they do. Mm -hmm. yeah, a bit cute. So let's get to why this is good. While the reasons for Epic making this push are not virtuous in the slightly and do not have, you know, gamers' best interests at heart, what it does do by contrast is shoot Google and Apple in the dick, which is a good thing because Apple, especially their walled garden, while many people might tout it as a benefit, the, sh the sheer lack of control and and in 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 the end, you know, the the sheer, you know, like th there is no ownership. Like while while Apple may have some benefits, I will give them credit for there. Not the best on security, but in, in privacy, but they certainly have a better track record than Google. They the problem is is that Apple is notoriously not fantastic. Their products are not great. Um, the walled garden aspect of them is, you know, I I maintain that if you're gonna get a a cell phone for a per, for an octogenarian, get them an iPhone because it's Apple for to their credit will stupid. It, but their behavior and you know the gouging they do with their store at least in comparison to you know the, the play store is insane and you know the, and as a developer xcode all that i will never develop an iphone app i refuse to develop an iphone app i'm not going to doubt buy a two thousand dollar mac and then spend an extra hundred dollars for a licensing key through xcode and then compile in Xcode, which is a fucking nightmare, by the way. I'm not doing any of that. It Because you can only compile applications for Mac and OS through Xcode. You can't do it any other way. It is a bottleneck for development. It is part of the reason why you don't see anything for, you know, any decent games, if any, for Mac. It's why, you know, the, 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 the App Store is has long since been eclipsed both in number and of, of applications and quality of applications by the Google Play Store. Because you know what you need for uh, the Google Play Store? 25 bucks a year in, in VS Code. Shit, you oh, IDE you're probably using anyways. You can just have Cordova compile it and fucking, you know, you don't even have to use Android Studio to build an Android app. You can literally just 
grab the IOTIC framework, build your shit in React, and then have it compile into an APK and push it. So. By and large, a Apple bad, Google bad, Epic bad, but slightly less bad in this context. So that's, that's, that's the fucking news. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hibmedia.gg/discord. Discord links there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hibmedia.gg/tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.